Lisa, there are fans that say all they care about is his music. They don't care about the accusations or the allegations. Is that frustrating for you? It is. It's very frustrating because um, if it was your daughter or your sister or a family member, you wouldn't feel that way. And I mean, if it wasn't for people buying his music, going to his concerts, he wouldn't be able to fund the lifestyle he's living with these underage girls as well as these young, manipulative young women. And there are other songs you can listen to than I Believe I Can Fly, all right? right. You know what I mean? Right. No, not even being funny. It's, for real. It, it, it's very frustrating yeah. when people say, oh, well, I can separate his music. He's hurting people. He's hurting women. Yes. He has hurt you for years. Yes, and you take that with you. It doesn't end when with you hear that those songs, situation. It's not just step in the name no. of love. It's, it means, it's so, means so right. much more to you. It's like AJ nothing but a number. What do you think he's talking about? Mm. I mean, how do you talk to your children about what you went through? I'm really open with my oldest child. She's 16. Mm -hmm. I met him when I was 17. So I talk to her about things, about what I went through, because just to make sure she doesn't go down that path. We talk, I stay, I, I keep an open conversation with her about whatever she wants to discuss. And I, I, you know, my faults, I want people to learn from what I went through. Mm -hmm. You know, if I can't save, I couldn't save myself, but I, I hope and pray I can save someone else's child. Wow. Right. You're saying you, you, you couldn't save yourself. What do you mean by that? And, and what would you have told yourself back then? I couldn't save myself, I was a child, I was young dating a man, so I didn't know what a relationship with a man is supposed to be like. Mm. I was going off of what he told me. He told me, you know, if I say, well, this, I don't want to do this, he'd say, well, his mother always told him, if you love a man, you won't change him. So I'm mm. thinking, okay, well, I guess, guess that's how it's supposed to be. As I got older and I became a woman, I realized, you know what, uh-uh, this, is, this isn't right. You know, there's, mm -hmm. there are things that I wouldn't do as I got older that I wouldn't deal with as a young woman, as a young girl. Yeah. You know, what, so. What do you want people to take away from this docu-series? Awareness. Um, I want, I want people to, I want it to raise awareness. I want to help someone else's daughter. I always say that. Um, I hope that the girls that are there will get strength from this, from, from watching this. Um, you know, it's, it's crazy, it's really crazy because people don't understand once you're, when you're out of that situation, it still goes on with all of us. Mm -hmm. All of these girls like are still dealing with what they dealt with no matter how long you were there. Mm -hmm. they, they, you take it with you, yeah. you know? So I want people to, un to understand that if you're buying his music, if you're listening to his songs, if you're going to his concerts, you're helping him do this to these young girls. You're saying it's okay. Has any of his much. people or, or, or has he himself reached out to you? Not um, since right before trial. No, okay. they haven't. We do know some of the same people, some, you know, in the industry. And if there's no. anything you could tell the people about R. Kelly, what would it be? Well, R. Kelly's great. I'd have to tell them about Robert. That's who's the person that's, that's pretty much, uh, you know, like a pedophile and he's evil. You know, I'm, I, you gotta watch out for him. Well, Rob Don't is in control of the facade that R. Kelly's right. playing, so that's where mm -hmm. we need to put a stop. Yes. Regardless. Exactly. Thank you so much for sharing with us. You can see Lisa in Surviving R. Kelly, a three-night event beginning January 3rd on Lifetime at 9 p.m. Eastern Pacific.